bottles on wine Picking up skills of every kind Old school thrills and modern frights We're serving up screens for 60 nights From ghastly new to aged gore Two months of chills, who could want more? It's flip flopped over, double the dread Laugh till you scream, we'll hide under the bed From cheesy slashers to eerie cold Two months of horror, new and old This week we're diving into The Exorcism, a chilling tale of a father and actor whose life spirals into chaos on the set of a horror film. Directed by Joshua John Miller and starring Russell Crowe, this film blurs the line between reality and supernatural. Is Anthony battling his demons or is he facing something truly otherworldly? Find out on this episode of Flick Flops. Gary, listen, I got to tell you, I love The Pope's Exorcist. <laughs> I mean, sorry, The Exorcism. Boy, <laughs> Yeah, that that is what definitely led to I some confusion with this movie. Just thought we saw this movie yep. some other with a different title. And um, interesting that I, I would love, I, you know, I, I probably should have researched this. I'm curious of where this was filmed in relation to yeah. Pope's Exorcist. Was this like his next project? And he, was, you know, what I mean, like, was he like, I just filmed it? Yeah, I've got the, I've got the. Uh, I feel an exorcism. I'm ready for this one. Let's do another one. I'll get yeah, it. I'll, why I'll, not? I'll, I'll put on the uh, the outfit again. I'll be typecast as a deranged <laughs> exorcist pope. Or yeah, it was one of those things that were, when I saw that that was one of the films that yeah. I was like, is this just like retitled? Like, and plus it's so generic, the exorcism. Yeah. So generic. It is. It's, it's, so. it's, they dropped the ball a lot on this one. Oh, I, I, I'd say the ball was dropped. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll get to that. The ball was down. Uh, <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes, Gary. Let's get this over with. Rotten Tomatoes is <laughs> sitting at twenty-seven uh, with the audience, with the critics, and thirty-five with the audience, and they are right. Generous. Pick oh, whichever sorry. one you want. They're right. <laughs> They're generous. Oh, hey, let's roll that ratings footage and That's just right out of the gate. Beautiful bean footage. A quick reminder that our rating system is unconventional. We don't hand out stars, we hand out poos and TPs, up to five of them. And just to add more confusion, the more we give, the crappier we think the film is. Crappier, get it? Y yeah, it's dumb, but that's the way we do it. God, God, right. That was so good. <laughs> you know, every time. You should do voiceover. <laughs> it delivers. It, it does. It really del <laughs> you just never know, Gary. You never do. There it is. And so uh, you or me, who's going first on this puppy? Uh, you go ahead. I've done a couple here recently. All right. Changing mine as we're talking. So go ahead. All right. Well, you get to determine whether I have enough toilet paper or not, because I gave this film four and a half TPs. Ooh. Yeah, there'll be enough. <laughs> There's enough. Okay. All right. There'll be enough. I'll wait for yours. Though. I came in hot with three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. Because there were parts of this film that I did enjoy. I just overall. This film is a total nothing burger. If you never see this film, your life is going to be perfectly fine. I, I'm not going to tell anybody. Oh, you should. now if you are into the genre and you like this kind of stuff, go see it. Great. Other than that, that's a hard disagree. I just I don't know who I would say to go see it. I don't uh, I don't know who to recommend this movie to. Yeah, I mean I might talk myself into a four and a half by the time this is over. <laughs> I, um. <laughs> Could I give you the one highlight I had in the movie? Absolutely. The one that as a, as a Gary. I'm, I'm curious because I, I don't have any. <laughs> you'll agree with me on this one. Okay. As former recovering wannabe rock stars. Okay. 20 minutes in the daughter is wearing a Tesla concert. Show. Uh, okay. Yes. I uh, do agree. That's redeeming. <laughs> love it. Tesla. Love it. Let's see how the movie plays out. And then turd city. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the other note I have is it, it's there's a creepy intensity that I was uncomfortable with between the father between Russell Crowe and his daughter. Yeah. So they made this build up of, of of so he's 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 battling addiction or is he battling exorcism? I don't know. It's and the 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 back and forth between the two is just so 
to me, it's awkward and uncomfortable. Yeah. And I don't still know where I feel like, I don't know, like she's being kind of a little pain in the ass, but then he's being a real dick. And now I'm like, is he, cause he's battling addiction. Yeah. But then there's also the, the, yeah, the, uh, I'm drawing blank here. The, the, the taking over of your soul of uh, working on this movie. <laughs> so the possession, there it is. Boom. Got it. Edit. <laughs> uh, the possession, Gary, of, of his character. So it's, I'm just, it's off putting. Yeah. So to speak. And I just was never comfortable with the whole, the whole vibe of this thing. Like, I think you've talked about this before in other films. And I, I think this one is one of those ones where like, this seemed like there's maybe a good scene or two and they made a whole movie out of it. And it's like, well, maybe you should have had a better movie and just use the scenes that you thought were good before you wrote this whole script. And again, Gary and I have zero producing credits to our name, but that's what we do. I, we come, I, we shit. You know what? I will say this. Um, cause you are looking for positivity and you, I, you could consider this the good section that we're trying to talk about, <laughs> trying to talk about, uh, the Tesla shirt. I'll, I'll one up you not one up. Cause I think Tesla still beats this. Um, I will say that there was one other thing in this movie that I found interesting right. and, I'm not, and it's not the credits. <laughs> uh, I will say that the, the, the house setting the the fact that they're on a sound stage with the house I thought that was actually kind of cool. Yes. I was like, oh, that's kind of neat to see. A little I, behind I, the I, curtains of the movie I've making. Seen it in other movies, of course, and yeah. you know, and you know how it works. But sure. oh, it was nice to see that kind of thing. That's that's pretty much it. I I will say, <laughs> I thought um, I really I I like Russell Crowe. I feel bad yeah. that he was in this movie. Um, I I thought. Maybe it was a good concept. Maybe, maybe thinking about the the struggle of uh, of trying to interplay that whole is, is he just struggling with addiction or is he actually possessed thing? Right. I think that's an interesting idea. I don't think that they got that on film. I I just don't think. No. I, I think the writing was terrible. I think uh, most of the acting was not great. <laughs> um. Not and that's no knock at Russell Crowe because I think he actually did a good job. I was surprised to see uh, Niles or whatever. <laughs> what's, oh, what's yeah, name? he was great. Um, it, David I he was, yes, I thought he was good in it. I completely um, forgot about that. Yeah, he was. I I enjoyed seeing his character come into yeah, the scene. It was, oh, it, there we go. Yeah, it, it's just a shame that all that that talent was lost in this film because yeah. it it's there's no cohesiveness to it. There's no real understanding of what's going on most of the time, and there's no rules because like this guy's possessed and then you know they're we got to go and get him out get get the, it, i i don't want to say too much about it because first honestly i don't think i could because i'm well, totally you, confused you by spoil it. it well i'm not worried about spoiling i just don't remember enough so, so that's I, what i ask you there's go ahead what caused the possession at the scene okay good hello that's, I thought that's where you're going because I'm like I don't recall either. It, it's never explained. Like, oh, the movie sets over an ancient Indian burial ground. Yeah, God, how, thank how you. How do you oh. get rid of it? How do you get rid of it, Andy? Uh, you bring know. in uh, Niles from Frasier, and then for some he's going to get it out, and he can't get it out, but but Russell Crowe can, and then it, it it's super it's a super confusing mess. That's just like, was this written when they got everybody together? <laughs> and they're just on set going, uh, hold, hold, I don't hold, know. hold. Click, I'm, gonna, click, click, I'm gonna throw a blue light on this scene and then we're gonna just you now now it's gonna jump to you here's your pages for the next scene it's bad it's well, just I, I, I thought it was crap <laughs> i did Gary, don't hold I, these are unfiltered so don't hold back I, I, <laughs> here's what here's what i don't like um and i i think this whole exorcism thing is just played out like Could until be. you come up with something new uh, and I don't know that you can. I just I'm bored with this whole concept. Yeah. You know, um, I thought that, you know what? I, here's my advice to you. If you like exorcism movies and you like Russell Crowe, see the Pope's Exorcist. <laughs> it's a much yeah. better film. Yeah. He, he's way better in that. The film actually has a plot and makes sense. The rules are clear. There's a great thing that happens in the beginning. Yeah. That's way better than watching this. Yeah. I would not 
tell anybody to watch this movie. <laughs> I would say do not waste your time on this movie. I well, looked I would... up, uh, real quick. I just want I looked up after the fact because I was curious who is who is responsible for this. <laughs> And the director, Joshua John Miller, I was like, that name sort of sounds familiar, but who the hell is he? And I look, he's he was um, the character's name, Homer, from Near Dark. He was the boy from Near Dark. Wow. Holy crap. Hold on. We can't, <laughs> we can't surface that fast. I get the bends. Near Dark. I was, dark. And, Jeez. and for some reason, look, I'm going to, I'm going to be a little, I haven't seen Near Dark in a while. I, so a friend of mine, told me that it does not hold up. I would like to see it again. Oh, we'll do it. We can, we can do that and discuss it. But there's one thing that always bugged me about that movie that I do remember. And it was Joshua John Miller. It was his character. That boy oh, no way. always bugged the crap. He bugged the crap out of me. And so when I saw his name came up, that was on this movie, I was like, it all makes sense now. I'll snap it into focus. <laughs> so no offense to you, Joshua John Miller. I know you're not watching this anyway, but if you were, I would tell you that I apologize, but this movie was hot garbage he was a fan now he's unsubscribed gary Where'd i was go? not i wasn't yeah uh, oh yeah he was <laughs> anyway go ahead Listen, you <laughs> so you say you wouldn't recommend this here's why i'll say it no if someone says to me andy and then they, they, they they don't but if they did <laughs> if they said to me hesh i was gonna say they probably would say hey andy <laughs> wouldn't if they, they? If they says to me hesh because he calls me that that they would not call you <laughs> hesh i'm thinking of watching Catwoman <laughs> or the exorcism. I would say smash your face into a wall <laughs> and then watch the exorcism. <laughs> that, yeah, I will say that I, I, I honestly did put it up against that to decide whether what's, you know, <laughs> am I going all in with five? And I was like, well, I still think I would watch this over the cat woman. Oh God. So. And I would then, but that would say to him, why'd you call me Hesh? <laughs> yeah. Unless you're a, Paul, what's it? Paul Reiser. Paul Reiser. I drove a blank on it. <laughs> that is that is a that's a deep cut. That's right deep. There. If you know that poll, man, you're, let us you're, know in the comments if you knew what Hesh meant. <laughs> you knew who that was. Yeah, he oh, says God. to me Hesh. He calls me that. All <laughs> right, yeah, Gary. I got I got z nothing else here. I'm ready to go get some get a I, baked potato. I've wasted 11. I mean, I feel like we've wasted 11 minutes on this film. We've gone 11 minutes too long into this. I actually, I, you know what? I, not the to Tudor and horn. I'm just going to say, I think this 11 minutes was more entertaining than the exorcism. I'm just Ooh, saying. Zing. <laughs> uh, and it was written about the same way oh, <laughs> on the spot, on the spot. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Please like comment, subscribe and let us know if you saw the exorcism, put in the comments below. If you're going to plan to see the exorcism, Skip that and see the Pope's Exorcist instead. And then come back and tell us what you thought. Yay! Yay! Go to Hawaii! Yay! <laughs>